Oh, what is up, YouTube? It is your boy UC704 bringing you guys another video, man. And um, today we're gonna talk, continue to talk about quick striking offense. Being that I am a quick striking offensive type of guy, I love to spray the floor and I love to attack really fast to throw you off guard. I'm, I, you know, I, I can play slow down, but my preference is quick striking. I love to score really quick and create my own manual offense with which is freelance offense. So here. We're going to talk about some D-pad cutting. And if you don't know what that means, I'm going to show you. We can go far on one end and me playing with them, I would start Draymond Green or Harrison Barnes at the four. Due to the fact either one of those could play the four. So now I have Steph Curry with the basketball. And then you see right here, okay, you see right here. You see that that uh, menu I pulled up. How to get to that menu is easy. You hit the D pad to the left. It, it all depends on your six skill. You can do this really fast. I could do it in less than a second while you know dribbling or penetrating to the basket. It really helps if you can do it really fast. But if you can't, it's okay. But it it, it really benefits people with very fast stick skill, man, or good stick skill. Um, and all you do is hit the D pad to the left. You hit right trigger, and when it comes to this screen right here, the quick plays. You can cut Iguodala to the basket or get Clay Thompson open. So, um, and you also do Bogut post up and Curry isolation. So we got Curry isolated right now. So um, what we want to do is get, um, as you can see, Andre Iguodala cutting to the basket. And the best, this is a very nice little quick strike. You when you beat your guy, okay, let's, let's spread it back out. When you beat your guy off the dribble, you see Iguodala cuts right to the basket, and I got a dunk block. It is a Hall of Fame sim. So. As you can see right here, man, this works. This right here destroys the one-three-one. When people play one-three-one, your wings automatically go down to the corners, and um, when you go space the floor, or you can keep it in motion offense, freelance, or um, space the floor. Either either one. When you play uh, uh, one-three-one, the four-out one in automatically destroy one-three-one. But you have to be able to shoot. But this is another way, quick striking offense here. Once I break my man down, less than a split second, I hit the right. I'm going to hit left on the D-pad, right trigger, and Y. All within like a split second. Boom. What happens is that cut Iguodala right to the basket. Um, Gallinari got caught sleeping. Step Curry here with a nice behind-the-back pass. Iguodala went up for the dunk. He did get a block. But I'm telling you, this right here works really well. This is another quick striking offense uh, technique that you can use. Once you beat your man off that dribble, boom, boom. Once you beat him, you can get him, cut your, um, once you go past him, you can cut your wing player to the basket. Usually they pick the most athletic player, but uh, if that's not if that's not the case, you can always switch the ball in someone else's hands to get someone else to cut. But usually they cut the small forward or I guess the most athletic person to the basket. So here we go again. I'm going to try it again. And you can do this from anywhere on the court. It really works really well when your guy's on the baseline, especially when someone's playing you in a zone. So as you can see, Iguodala is over there in that corner again. He cut to the basket again. He's going to be pretty much right up under the basket, man. This right here would throw people off that play off-ball defense. Guys that love to run around and shooting guard or that power forward. This right here will mess them up. So you can even mix this in with a pick and roll. A pick, you can mix this in with a pick and fade. Really, freelance offense, you can do whatever you want. You can be your own floor general. And that's pretty much what I run because until 2K make the plays speed up a little quicker, starting off, I won't, I won't run plays that much. So here we go again. Boom. I blow right past him. I get... Right here, he got to help. He has to help. Iguodala could have stayed in that corner. I could have got a three, but I cut him right to the basket for an easy uh, layup. So I'm going to come back down and try it again. And you can also cut Clay Thompson. I mean, you can also get Clay Thompson open for a shot. That works pretty good. I use that every now and then, man. A lot of the stuff I use on Hall of Fame Sim, rank game, I pretty much just freelance pretty much the whole game. But Hall of Fame Sim, I kind of use some of this stuff. So let's go ahead and let these guys score, man. We ain't got all day, right? We ain't got all day. So, um,. Uh, I can't believe they missed a shot on Hall of Fame Sim. So here we go again. I can see Iguodala going on the court. I wanted to go on this side. So uh, that was a nice pick. I beat my man. Oh, man. That was a, that was a nice little bump right there. Let's see if we can get it with a pick and fade. Eh? So he come and give me that. You see Iguodala cuts to the basket again right there. You see him, you see him do that V cut. And one of the best finishes on the game, he actually missed that layup. But um, this works really nice, man. You cut those guys to the basket. Like I told you guys, with a pick and slip, you hit him with, once you see him do that spin, that swim move right here, boom, he's pretty much open. I shouldn't have icon passed it. But um, that's that that's pretty much, that works, man. That That's freelance offense, right? You can create your own offense, man. Quick striking offense. You can you can strike really fast on it. So imagine if you get LeBron James or 
D Wade on the wing, guys like Tony Allen, guys that can't really score that good. So here we can get Curry open. As you can see, it's a feature to say get Curry open. And what he does, he's supposed to get open. I think I'm in Curry. Well, actually, he's standing still. He's supposed to get open. Sometimes that works. Sometimes that don't work. But uh, I use that sometimes. But you see how they deny the ball really tight. They deny the ball very tight. So we're just going to go back to the cut, man, because I don't know why that's not kicking in. But it's all good, though. It's all good. It's all good. So uh, here we go. Let's get back on. You can run in um, free space the floor as well. So every now the floor is space. Now you see he cuts again. And what happens is if he's baseline, that's an oop right there, man. That is an oop right there. Once you break your man down, guys that want to play that zone, I'm telling you, guys that want to play that zone, go four out, one in, space the floor. Once you get past that first guy, he's going to cut. The other guy has to pick up. You just throw that lob up, make a dollar goes and get it. This is very, very helpful, man, especially when it's tough to score. You don't want to live off threes the whole entire game. You can rack up assists, man. I mean, you can get, I have, you know, triple doubles, quadruple doubles, man. Certain players just off uh, those athletic point guards, man. So here we go again. I'm gonna show you again. Now we got it on space the floor. It was on freelance. The reason I had it on freelance because freelance respect the isolation a little bit better. So now you see Iguodala's on the wing. He cuts again. Oh my goodness! And I throw him another oop, man. So it's like once you get in the lane, it collapses the defense. Right here, when everybody's playing this this perimeter defense like this. Everybody's glued onto that man. That means if you get in the heart of the daggone defense, which is right here, get in that heart, man. Get right here in this paint. Everything pretty much opens up. Steph Curry breaks him down. Iguodala give him a nasty little spin move. He automatically got a. Um, he's already in front of him with the advantage, and he jumps right over Ty Lawson. No match. Iguodala goes and get the oop, man. Creating your own offense, cutting that guy to the basket. And like I said, D pad to the left. You hit the right trigger and wide. And you see how quick I'm doing this on the fly. Like, I'm doing this really quick on the fly. And like I said, you can mix it with a lot of different things, man. Pick and roll, pick and fades. Cut your guy to the basket. Cut him to the basket back here. And it works really good in four out one in. So here we go again. He goes in that corner. I beat my man to the basket. And I throw him another oop, man. It's nasty, man. It's nasty. It's nasty, nasty, nasty. So here we go again, man. Beat his man, Gallinari, keep falling asleep, dunk right over JaVale McGee, and Iguodala is probably the best finisher, one of the top finishers on the game, man. So that's my time. If somebody throw you in that zone, remember, man, that manual cut, quick strike and offense, this to get you going, this to get guys to play in the paint. What you want is to play a chess match, man. Now you get your guys sagging off. Once they start sagging off, you drive and kick and light them up for three, man. Golden State probably is one of the deadliest teams to play with a Hall of Fame sim if you can shoot with Steph Curry. So, um... That's my time, man. Oh, and manual cuts as well. The left bumper, why? I can cut uh, Harrison Barnes. You can see I can cut anybody. All you do to do this is hit the left bumper, click on a guy, man. You can cut anybody to the basket. Right here, you see Bogut cut. I can pretty much move anybody I want. Bring him to me. Move him over here. And how you do this is hit the left bumper, PS4. That would be L1. Then you click on that icon. Once you click on the icon, you hit the right stick. You cut these guys anywhere they want to go on the court. And it's pretty much like that, man. And, um, yeah, that's my time, man. I'm out, people. Peace.